Hey everybody, this is Togam and Junkie. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So in this video, uh, I want to talk about what I would like in a third installment of the Life is Strange series. Now, it hasn't been confirmed. Like Dotnoid has said that they would like to make a third Life is Strange game, but it's really up to Square Enix if um, if they can. So if we do get a life, well, we're obviously going to get a Life is Strange series. Like even though Life is Strange 2 wasn't as good as the first one, it's it's what do you call it? it? It still made a lot of money, so and the story is pretty good. Not as good as the first game, but still. So this is so when we do get a Life is Strange free game, th these are the things that I want want to be in the game. Now the first and foremost thing that I want in a Life is Strange free game is no cross country traveling, okay? Because I understand how it works for Life is Strange 2, how it sets it up, but. Ultimately, for me, in each episode where you're traveling to a different place, I couldn't connect with the characters. Like, I guess the only character I was really able to connect with was David, surprisingly, because, as you all know, he showed up in episode 5. And because of the history that we had, that us players had with him in the first game, it was easy to form a sort of connection to him. Whereas you're traveling from place to place in Life is Strange 2, you can't really form connections. I don't know, it's like, I know Dot Knight tried to do a good job, but it, it didn't really do much for me. I didn't really feel for the characters like I did in Life is Strange 1. You know, characters such as Kate, for example. I mean, after episode 2, she was, she wasn't in the rest. Like, if you save her life, she... She does show up in episode 4 um, as that little um, cameo thing because um, I remember reading this, people wanted to see her again, so Dotnoid brought her back for that scene. And then we see her again in episode 5 when Max travels back in time to the first for the, to the first episode and then we see her in that like nightmare sequence. Like, it, it, she didn't really, I'd say her time was less than about less than an hour, maybe it was an hour, maybe less for, for the whole game. But yeah, e even if that little bit amount of time, I was able to connect with her and she grew to be one of my favorite characters. Whereas with, you got Cassidy and Finn, it's, I couldn't really connect with them personally, like, like I did with Life is Strange 1 characters. It's just, I don't know, like, you, I'm sure you people know what I mean. So that's what I want, that's one of the things I want, okay? No cross-country traveling, just refine the area to one place. Okay, so the next thing I would like to see in Life is Strange 3 is for the main character to not be, what do you call it, to not be a teenager, you know what I mean? Because we have Max who was 18, and Chloe you play as when she was 16 and before the storm, then you had Sean, who was 16, I believe he was 16, I'd like to see how an adult would be able to cope with having powers, you know what I mean? Like, because I, I feel like as an adult it'd be more interesting, but that's just my opinion anyway, like, the, the characters are still good nonetheless, but you know, I'd like to see it mix them up. I'd like to see Dotnoid mix it up a little, right? Like, maybe, hell, maybe you could be an old man or woman who has superpowers. I think I know that sounds boring, that, that'd be pretty interesting, you know, because they're mixing it up. Alright, so for the first thing I want is this. If Life is Strange 3 does have romanceable characters like it did with Life is Strange 1 and 2, I want it to be properly done, you know what I mean? Because Life is Strange 1, it, it, I'd say it did Max and Chloe's um, relationship was done better than in Life is Strange 2 with Sean and Cassidy or Sean and Finn. I don't know, I just felt that they, ha Max and Chloe had more chemistry and the romance seemed kind of, like, more real to me. I connected more with them than in Life is Strange 2 with Sean and Cassidy or Sean and Finn. I, I don't know, that's just me. Like, maybe, for example, like, one cool thing that Dot Noy could do is, let's just say you play the game and you're in a relationship with someone and then you meet someone else and that could form maybe a love triangle and are, are you going to cheat on your spouse with this other person? I mean, what could happen? 
I mean, that, that'd be pretty interesting to see. Would you stay loyal or not? But that, that's just me talking. Okay, what, this is something that I really, it, it was kind of they done in Life is Strange 2 with Daniel, but I'd like to see this more done in a third Life is Strange game. Now, uh, first of all, I'm, if you, if the character, the main character does get powers, what I'd like is for him or her um, to have the option to be corrupted by them. Because um, with Life is Strange 2, your choices determine what Daniel will become, and ultimately, will he put himself and Sean above everyone else, or will he, or will he put everyone else above himself and not be selfish? Now, I, I you don't really get to be selfish as Max in with with her powers. I mean, there are some moments of that, but you don't really. I, I mean, obviously, selfish is her saving Chloe and letting Arcadia Bay die, but you, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can grasp what I'm saying. Like, I'd like, I'd like, for example, let's just say someone, like, you get your character, if you're in high school or college, you get bullied. You could use your powers to make the bully's life a living hell. Maybe destroy their car or something, you know what I mean? Okay, and, and for the last thing on this list, I want Dotnoy to have more episodes because in, in most games, episodic games have five episodes. Like the only one that I've seen go over the five episode limit is the Game of Thrones series with six episodes instead of five. Now, I don't feel five episodes is enough to tell a story. Like, take Life is Strange 1 for example. Um, um, you, you barely get really any time with Chloe, like, you do get to know her, explore Max's past, but I, I felt it was short, I wanted to explore more. What would have been neat for that is to, for that for Dotnoid to have nine episodes, because as you know, with a TV series, nine is normally when they finish it. So, I think it would be cool um, with what would happen is after episode five, whether you cho chose to sacrifice Arcadia Bay or Chloe, then the episode would the next episode would play based on what choice you did, and so you'd get two different variants, you know, of, of Max's story, you know what I mean? I really do think that would be cool, and I really do hope it's what happens. Like, obviously it's going to be unlikely, but I do think we should have more episodes. And, you know, not just in Life is Strange, but in episodic games. So anyways, that's really all I wanted to talk about. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Togamer Junkie, signing off.